Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm really excited for a couple different reasons today to go over some stuff that I've been working on, Marius has been working on, and Takashi's been working on with the pen tool. So um, it's a lot of really big improvements, stuff that I think that you will like. So let's go ahead and jump down there. So there is a new UI. Let's go ahead and hide Notepad for right now. And it's very lovely and uh, I spent a lot of time working on this. I'm learning how to code, so this is like a little bit of basic stuff. Marius is doing all the heavy lifting here, and Takashi is doing all the heavy lifting in um, Tablet Pro desktop software. So we have some really big improvements and exciting changes coming up. Right now, I want to show you kind of what's uh, in this version. So here, uh, what you can see is you can double tap on these. It will bring up that mode. Here you can see full screen mode. You can actually switch to a mode here and program it to do certain things. Uh, let's see if this will work. Uh, not everything works perfectly yet. We're uh, maybe a week or so away from this release. So here you can lock the preset. That will keep it from switching automatically to another preset. You can activate by clicking this activate button up here. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to full screen mode. You can tap enter. Uh, if you go over here, you double tap, it'll open up the settings for Tablet Pro, which is so cool. I like that a lot. Really fun. Double tapping right here will close the uh, settings window and a single tap will, will apply the settings. You can switch between the stylus here and that will uh, gray out the different modes that are not compatible with that stylus. So here the surface pen does not have an invert button. So that is not accessible. You can open up. So let's say we go to, um, I have been using rebel, which I really like double click right here. Let's say we want to edit this one. We can just click right here, the edit layout button, and it'll open up the correct mode and preset. You can select what mode and, uh, you want to open when that one is there. You have hide taskbar. I like in certain drawing apps to automatically hide the taskbar. So you can do that now. Uh, sticky modifiers is really cool. We have smart modifiers, that's really cool. I will go into those a little bit more. Tap to unlock we had in the last version. Um, that means that you can use the uh, shift button or whatever modifier, you're just gonna tap the side button and then you're gonna use the pen. In some programs like Photoshop, what would happen is that you would have uh, a conflict because Photoshop said, uh, we own the pen. It belongs to us. All of its functions are ours. And we couldn't do anything. It would just erase or it would do something else. And now what we can do is we can say, okay, we're going to do shift. And then well, we're going to use the stylus right afterwards. So it's, it's one and then the other, but they overlap intelligently and use some pretty smart little tricks in order to get it to work correctly. So uh, basically now you can use the side buttons for almost all different functions that you want to do. So yay, and ZBrush, it works really good too. So uh, that's awesome. Uh, here, sticky modifiers, what this will do is this will do the same thing with the artist pad and keys on your keyboard. So if you tap a button here, instead of having to go back and forth between plus one second and toggle mode, and uh, just like the actual native real time button pressing, you can use the sticky modifiers and that will allow you to, uh, why don't I just show you here? Where are you ZBrush? There we go. And let's go here and we'll go up to ZBrush core. Okay. All right. That's fine. Uh, by the way, if you're using, okay, let's see. <laughs> okay, Zebra's core, we're locked in here. We're gonna click on sticky modifiers, that's fine. Hide taskbar, and 
let's switch to the correct stylus invert let's do alt and let's do shift and go tap to unlock for both and sticky mods is on let's hide this okay cool all right so here i'm going to press the side button and you'll notice that i can subtract as long as I want. I'm actually not pressing the side button right now. I just tapped it and then started using the stylus. As soon as I pick the stylus back up and start going again, it will do as we expect. So the caveat at the moment is that if I use Alt to drag around the screen, you're not going to be able to release it by pressing the side button again and get that zoom function. So you would tap on the stylus, drag, and then tap Alt on the artist pad and that works quite well. You can do the same thing, tap here and then tap again on the artist pad and that will also work using sticky mods. So here, let's just do sticky mods. So we're gonna do alt and then I pick the stylus back up and just start drawing again. And this is really nice. Works pretty good. Uh, although that part is a little bit funky. Okay, so you, you get the idea. Um, and the last thing that I wanted to show you is because we now have Sticky Mods working. Great name, by the way. Uh, there's a property inside of Windows called uh, Sticky Keys. And this is just Sticky Modifiers. It's very close to the same thing, except for ours is controllable per program. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. We're going to uh, switch to full screen mode. So I'm going to double tap right here and close this. And I have in the background, I have a program that I wrote a long time ago, uh, my first program I ever wrote. And uh, it's called right here, sound keyboard. And what it's gonna do is the sound keyboard will say what I'm doing. E, e. And it will say it in my own voice. Yay! Let's see if we can turn volume up a little bit. E, e, e. Still seems very quiet. All right, so up here I have a little guide that I wrote out uh, to show what this is doing. So now that we can daisy chain commands. So if I wanted to do, uh, you see right here, pinch out, shift, e, 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 shift, e, shift, e, 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 control Z, control A, control X. So there's a lot of different things that you can do. If you're in a program, shift, alt, control, you can do almost any type of um, keyboard hotkey using using the full screen mode, which is a mouse mode. So you're using touch and keyboard controls, and it's fairly robust. Uh, at some point, I would like to be able to be able to stack the different modifiers. So if you wanted to do Control and Shift and Z, that that would be easy to do. All right, guys, this is a couple weeks away. And it is not quite ready, but I wanted to share it with you right now because I was excited. And I got a new microphone. I've got the Wave 3 from Elgato. Meow. So it's uh, really improved the sound quality uh, on these recordings. And that's really exciting for me because I've been struggling with sound quality issues for like a year and a half. Um, some would argue since the very beginning. So this is, is good news. So, all right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe and click the notifications icon. All right, thank you. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video.